Yeah. Welcome everybody. This is the 1230. I had to look. It's Wednesday, 1230. It's the 1960s class. I love this class. We have so much fun in here. It's book number 366, which is the decade series songs of the 60s. And today we are on Mr. Tambourine Man. What do we know about this song? Well, it was written by Bob Dylan in 1965. It's been recorded by a whole bunch of artists, including the Birds, who most of you, that's probably the version most of you know, Judy Collins, Melanie, um, Stevie Wonder, and the Birds version actually reached number one on the US Billboard Hot 100. Dylan began writing this song in February of 1964 after attending Mardi Gras in New Orleans. And he completed it several months later when he returned to New York. The song has an ambiguous tonality that enhances the dreamy quality of the melody. Dylan has denied that this song is about drugs. Okay, so he's denied that. Well, who's Mr. Tambourine Man? Who would you think? See, he writes with a lot of symbolism, and it could actually be anything or anybody that he encountered. It could be, it could just be music. Mr. Tambourine Man is music, and he's been enthralled by music his whole life. Some people even went as far to say that Mr. Tambourine Man is actually Jesus, and that he found, he found God, and Mr. Tambourine Man is Jesus, and he's going to be following him. That's not a bad thought, you know. Um, but there were two distinct versions here, the Bob Dylan version, which is actually more with what I have on presets, and I'll go over that in a minute. And then the birds, which used more electric guitar, and they used harmony vocals. Well, the birds also did one verse, one verse. Which verse did they use? They used the second verse of Bob Dylan. Now what I have here is I went to A to Z lyrics and I printed out all of the lyrics. There's a whole bunch of them here. Guess what? They're not here in the book. So if you want all of Bob Dylan's lyrics, you go to A to Z lyrics and print them out. Or you can just ask me and I'll send them to you. Um, but I believe, and I just did this this morning, I'm not sleepy and there is no place I'm going to. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. In the jingle jangle morning, I'll come following you. Though I know that evening's empire has returned into sand, vanished from my hand, left me blindly here to stand. Is that what's here? Yeah, that's the first verse. But still not sleeping. My weariness amazes me. I'm branded on my feet. I have no one to meet. And the ancient empty streets too dead for dreaming. Okay, well that makes sense after he was in uh, at Mardi Gras in New Orleans. That verse goes completely along with that. Then it goes to the chorus, hey Mr. Tambourine Man. But the second verse is the one that the birds actually used. And I almost wish they would have printed that one. Take me on a trip upon your magic swirling ship. That's why people thought it was about drugs. My senses have been stripped my hands can't feel the grip, my toes too numb to step, wait only for my boot heels to be wandering. I'm ready to go anywhere, ready for to fade into my own parade, Casting your, cast your dancing spell my way, I promise to go under it. And again, that's all New Orleans stuff, you know, that he saw in New Orleans. Then there is the chorus, and then there's a third verse. Though you might hear laughing, spinning, swinging madly across the sun, it's not aimed at anyone, it's just escaping on the run. But for the sky there is no fences facing, and if you hear vague traces of skipping reels of rhyme, this guy was a complete poet. I mean, he's a really, really good storyteller, and his use of words is fabulous. To your tambourine in time, it's just a ragged clown behind. I wouldn't pay it any mind. It's just a shadow you're seeing that he's chasing. Then the chorus, and then there's a fourth verse, and I won't go along with reading that. But if you, if, if you read the lyrics, it gives you an idea of what a fabulous storyteller he is. Um, the song itself kind of rambles, and here's the thing. 
What key is this song in? It's an ambiguous key. Anybody guess? Is it D? Nope. Daddy's got it. G. G? How would you figure that? I don't know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, because the D yeah, sure. is the lead-in chord for the G chord. D is the lead-in for G. This is ambiguous tuning. So if you're going to use an introduction, you want it to be in G. Now, if you take a look at the intro that I sent you, that's a dead giveaway. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The intro is, is in G. And then the D chord is the fifth grade, G, A, B, C, D. And the fifth grade, even though there's no seven on it, always goes back to the root, always goes back to the key that the song is in. So if you're not using my intro and you're using a regular intro, start it in the key of G. If you start it in D, it's not going to sound. It will not sound. All right. Now, mm -hmm. let's first, are there yeah. questions? Before we move on. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, did the birds um, sing that after Bob Dylan? Yes. They, oh, okay. Yes, after. I wondered mm -hmm. why Bob Dylan didn't add to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, no. It, the Bob Dylan wrote it. The birds copied it, but right. they only did the second verse. They, just they only did one verse with it. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they did it a little bit more. Bob Dylan was more acoustic. They did it a lot more electric meaning yeah, they use the electric yeah, guitars and the electric yeah. bass. And um, even though it still sounds light and airy, um, they used a lot more of the electric stuff. And I do have a version for that um, using two different presets, but I did not print out the presets for that. Mm -hmm. um, if you are on a smaller instrument, you are going to be using smooth guitarist. That, that's easy. That's actually guitars 4-4. Four, four. If you've got a fanfare, guitars 4-4. Four, four. It's under smooth. That's the one that I would pick. I'm at 120 beats a minute. If you're on song setup, song setup actually comes up soft rock. And that's what I actually focused on was soft rock. But I did a lot of stuff to make it, let's see, more poetic. Less is more. So I took stuff out. I really tried to make it as an acoustic of a version as I could. Now. When I did this, I, tr I was almost like making complete different versions for each preset. So you do not have to use these presets in order because every section has its own preset, but you can pick one or two and use that for the whole song. You can pick one and use it for the whole song. You can pick two and five and use it for the whole song. See, this is something where you can actually say, I don't like what she did here, but I like what she did here, and I like this one. Or just pick one and try it. So this is, this is where you have to get creative, and you can mix and match all these different presets for the Bob Dylan version. But the first thing we need to do is the roadmap so we know where we're going. So we do the road map here, and it's the chorus. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I'm not, there's your first ending, sleepy, and there is no place I'm going to. Dots. Make that a color. Where are you going back to? The beginning. So between 4-4 four, four and your high G, that's going to be the same color. Now you're going to do the second part of the chorus. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me in the. All right, then you can put a little two right there and trace the two in the second ending. You're just doing a little diagonal. Choom! So the second time, I'm in the jingle jangle morning. I'll come following you. Well, why jingle jangle? Jingle jangle is like the sound that a tambourine makes. So I think that's why he chose those words. He's very symbolic. All right, then we're going to play the verse, and this is just the first verse, and then it says DC and fade. Return to the beginning and fade. Okay, if you want to do that, you can. So I make that a different color, and then go back to the beginning, and you can fade it out. Or you can 
play the whole thing again. Why? Because there's a whole bunch of verses. So you can just keep playing it and playing it and playing it and keep doing what you need, you know, changing your presets and add some presets and, and make it your own. Now what I actually am going to do is I am going to do the DC and fade. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to play the second ending up to morning I'll come following you to the bottom of the page. And then I'm going to go back to the intro that I printed out or that I actually hand wrote and do the intro and fade. You could just fade out playing the song too, but I decided to oh. go to um, Jingle Jangle Morning, I'll Come Following You, and then go to my intro and fade it out. Okay, so this, uh, it's easy peasy. Guess how many chord changes there are? None. Zero. Absolute zero. Wonderful. There's no chord changes. This is so easy. <laughs> So that's why I decided, what, what can I do to make this class longer than five minutes? <laughs> I'm doing some presets. So I am making them as acoustic as possible. I am going to soft rock, 120 beats a minute, and then I'm going to category preset, country guitar, and doing number two, which is the acoustic guitar. Now, for those of you that are using fanfares and easy tens and easy fours, your smooth guitarist comes up with an acoustic guitar if you have it on your rhythm preset or your song or your setup. So that's the guitar sound you should use. Now we're going to turn off the bass. No bass. No bass. Why? Because he was a pretty acoustic type of a player here. So now how can I fix? Let's actually just start here. Um, soft rock, soft rock. Um, I'm going to do it totally from scratch here. And go to country, number two, I'm at 120. I'm going to turn off my bass, which is over here. So this is how it sounds when you just turn on soft rock. There's lots of stuff happening. I'm going to turn off the bass. No bottom. Turn off your genie or basic. Oh, interesting. Go to the edit style. How do you do that? You go to the top of your screen and you touch it. And you get all these white rectangles. And it says edit style. Orc plus one, the first one says off because we turned it off. Orc plus one is an electric 12 string. Orc plus two is an acoustic guitar acoustic guitar and orc plus three is an organ I don't want an organ so I'm just gonna touch orc plus three and it'll say off so now I just have the guitars going all right drums volume I'm gonna find my drums volume and go down to nothing no drums ooh usually I say keep your drums and bass as high as possible because it helps you keep the beat so if that's you, if you need the help in keeping the beat, you're going to want to keep some kind of drums and, and bass. But what I'm doing is I'm challenging you here. All right, orchestra plus. Let's put the volume down a little bit because otherwise it's going to overpower. So I'm going to go down to four reds and one green. So just down a little bit. My lower tabs, my chords. Let's turn off the strings. Then I'm going to change my lower sound. Right now, it is a steel guitar for the chord. OK, how do I know that? Well, I'm going to turn off my Orchestra Plus so I can hear what my, the steel guitar does this. That's not what I want. I want my bass to actually be here. Oh, how do you do that? We're going to change the sound to bass finger slap number 151. Well, I could scroll if I wanted to, but I could also just go to keypad, go to 151. There it is. There's my sound, and I'm going to put it on the lower genius. So now I have, I have a 
bass sound coming from the lower chord. So if I turn my Arc Plus back on, okay, and then I've got this acoustic guitar up here. That was your lower sound, your lower genius. That's all on here. Okay, so then you're going to save that to A1, and that's going to be for your intro only. Oh, oh my, all that work just for an intro? Yeah, because we're going to work, work from there. We'll work from there. A2, it's real easy. It says add harmony country. So we're actually starting the chorus with a country harmony. So A2 is when you actually start this. So for those of you that have country harmony, you can just go to your smooth guitarist and go to your harmony. And if you don't have country, put on duet. Otherwise, put your country harmony on because it puts the harmony note on top. And then you can start playing this. It's, it's super easy peasy. All right, so I'm going to play my version, which is my version of the Bob Dylan. And remember... Each one of these presets kind of stands on its own, and you can say, well, that one was good, that one was terrible, that one was good, and then mix and match them any way you want. Or you can put them all in order like I did and just change every time we go to either the chorus or the verse. So here is the intro that I printed out. Finally, bass and drums. Okay. John? Yeah. Did you, when you got to the second page, and uh, you go back to the beginning and fade, now you went past the two, you faded out on the last line of the first page. I actually faded out on the intro. I went all the way back to the intro. What I did is oh. I played, I played, um, I played the second verse, or the yeah. second part of the chorus is what that is. Right. Um, so you could have played the whole thing again. That would have been fine. And then when oh. I got down to the bottom line, morning, I'll come following you. That's when I went to, um, I, I went back to my first preset and did the intro and faded out on the intro. Oh, okay. but you can fade out wherever you want. I mean, this I'm is, trying to follow you there and I don't know. Okay. This this is, so Dawn? Yeah. Dawn, when you back, when you went back to the beginning, after the third time, you got to the bottom of the first page, you went back to the um, intro. Did you go back to A1? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so can you tell us where you did the changes? Yes, I most certainly will. I, I, and it, it's so easy, you guys are going to go, oh, I could have figured that out. But see, again, you might have liked some of the things I did and maybe didn't like some of the things I did, and that's okay. This was more, I was following, I was trying to follow the Bob Dylan version more acoustic with this. So 
A1 is the, is the intro. A2 right. is at the top of your page where you're actually starting, hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, that's A2. And all I'm doing is putting that country harmony on. Right. Then I get to the end of the first ending, the third line, second measure. That's when you go to A3. And what am I doing in A3? I'm adding a golden harp. I'm keeping that country harmony on, but I'm adding a golden harp in the background. So I've got more stuff going on because it's, it's an acoustic guitar. And, and that's going to be at the end of the first ending. So now I'm going back and playing the second time. Go to the second ending. Play, play at the bottom of the first page, right before the two high Gs, mm -hmm. A4. And A4, I'm going to a different golden harp, different sound, different pattern, different rate. So this song is actually going to teach you a little bit about how this golden harp works and how it's going to change your sound. Dawn, yeah. could I ask you a quick question? Uh, yeah. On the first page, third line, huh? and the so, um, second, what, that was A3. A3 is at the end of the first ending. Okay, I'll move it over. End of the first ending, so that when you go back to the beginning, you're doing A3 again, or, or A3. You're doing A2 and A3 to play okay. that first line and the first measure of the second line. Yep, yep. And you're yep. still on A3 when you go to the second ending until yep. you get to the bottom of the page. You're going to go to A4. So technically, A4 picks up those pickup notes and starts at the top of page 147. Right. You're going to play line one. Line two, line three, first measure and the first half of the second measure. Because now mm -hmm. you're starting a new phrase. You've got to pick up note G. Before you do that pick up note G, go to A5. Okay. And that's where I actually used the bass and the drums. I heard you say that, <clears throat> add the drums. Yeah. But it's really, it's not, it's subtle. It's no, it was not as subtle, but some people might like that sound better. That's what I'm saying is you can play, you can pick A1 and A3 and play the whole song on that. Or you can pick A1, A2, A3, play the whole song on that. Pick and choose the presets that you like. Or say, hmm, I like what she did over here. Let me change it up a little bit. This is to get you starting to be a little more creative on your own presets. Mm -hmm. And if you only liked it with the bass and drums, Play the whole song on that. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't John, matter. Then yeah. where would I in, insert the um, the intro A one um, when I on the first page bottom line and and you know come follow come follow you uh -huh. then I go to the intro to fade it out. Correct. Do I change? Do I put A one there to remind? Yes. Me? Go to oh. A one again. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and depending on what you're doing, you know, you might want to save it again so that you can right. just go in order oh. of your presets. But yeah. I am just going back to A1 to play that. Okay. All right. Where did you bring in the A5? Excuse me. Where did you bring in the A5? A5 comes in on the second page, third line in the middle of the second measure. Okay. Right before my weariness amazes me. Okay, over the G. Okay. Yep. Yep. Got it. Okay. So country harmony, that's that's part of this. And then the golden harp. Well, let's go to the first place that I added golden harp, which was A3. All right. So pattern is what is the golden harp doing? Is it just going up and down? Let's turn off some of this stuff. That's just up and down. That's the pattern. Or if I go to a different pattern, I can do up only. I can do down only. Some of you only have those three choices. If those are the only choices you have, pick one. This one also has a virtuoso, a skip, a step, a guitar, and a banjo. Now the guitar and the banjo are going to stay in one spot pretty much. So the guitar pattern, then I want to change the sound 
to an acoustic guitar, and I can do that with with the numbers one, one, five. There it is. Where are we going to put it? We're going to put it in the golden harp, genius or sound. Now, some of you have that over here. Some of you have it over on this side of your organ. But hear what it's doing? Yeah. And the rate is normal. Normal. Well, what do I mean by normal? Well, let's see. If I do double time, it goes crazy. If I do one per beat, it's doing one at 120. Okay, so I'm doing normal. And that's being added to all the stuff that's going on in the Orchestra Plus. So it thickens the bottom a little bit. When I get to A4, wow, what did I do there? I changed the golden harp. I changed the pattern to banjo. Why? Because I've never used it, and I thought it sounded pretty good. <laughs> I did one per beat, and the sound, I wanted it to be a flamenco guitar. I just wanted it to have a little bit of a pop to it. I didn't want it to be big and heavy. Why? Because I was hearing something like that in the original. He had some kind of a guitar doing something that was making a little high-pitched pop sound. So I thought, all right, I'll see what I can do to add that. Hear it? But it's one per beat. If I were to do normal, it would sound pretty funny. Yeah. Or double time. <laughs> but one per beat, sometimes that's all you need. So, Dawn, yeah. Yeah, at the end of the song where it says DC and fade, do you stay on A5 to play the whole song again? I did, again? I did okay. until, I, until I decided... I'm done. I'm going to go back to the intro, and I w and if you go, if you decide to fade out on the intro, go back to uh -huh. A1. If you decide to just stay on the main song and fade it out, stay on A5. Okay. Yeah. All right. The nurse was here to see me, so I missed a few, a little bit of your class. Did you do oh. any extra chords? Nope. Nothing. Not one. Oh. <laughs> not one. Oh, super good. easy. Didn't, didn't miss anything. You did not. So if you learned a little bit about what your golden harp does today, yeah, you're in. Um, and again, taking off the bass and the drums is not something I recommend doing a lot. I usually tell you, try to keep your bass and drums as high as you can because it helps you keep the beat. But this was an interesting case because Bob Dylan is just playing with, you know, a couple of instruments and no bass, no drums. And the only bass was actually the, what I put into the lower chord. So it had a low note coming out, but it wasn't a, a regular bass pattern. So try it and see if, if you have problems keeping up with the timing on that, put in your drums or put in your bass or both. That's why I put number five in, so that you could actually have bass and drums, and then you can choose which one you like the best. So I have a question. Yeah. yeah. And I know I've asked this before, and I'm just having a big old brain fart. <laughs> orc, orc plus volume down to four reds. Is that style for me? Yes, it's style for you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thanks. Thank you. Yes, for all of you who have, who have Inspires and Rialtos, and marquees and grand marquees and arias. It is called style. It is not called Orc Plus for your volume. It is style. Thank you for clearing that up, Mona. That's Thanks. Great. I just yeah went blank there. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I always I always forget that sometimes verbiage is a little different. So I'll take the on the bar on the marquee. Would that be the far left? The style yes. on the far left. Style yeah. on the far left. Correct. That is yeah. correct. Yep. Yeah. So on, I think I asked you this, but I'm going to try it again. <laughs> okay. Um, if, when we did A5, mm -hmm. uh, I can put uh, A6 
uh, and press or save it to A1 to go no. back. No, and press A1 and save it to A6. Yeah, that's what, well, I said it wrong, but that's yeah, just, you did, but you, yeah, okay. you knew what you were doing. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But this is just again, this is just to get you to start looking at your organ and saying, okay, how can I manipulate my organ and where are these things? Where, yeah. where is my base? How do I turn it on and off? Um, and then you can decide how you want to make this arrangement because it's super, super easy stuff. Now, I made a second arrangement, but I did not print it out. And I was listening more to what would the birds have done? Well, the birds would have used a little bit lighter type of a background or a little bit lighter sound for the vocals, not the background. The background is a little heavier. So I'm using folk style, which is basic folk under rock on the bigger organs, and it is contempo, no variation on all of the A organs, Imperials, Sterlings, Liberties, um, and all the SU organs as well. So basic folk or contempo. And the sounds you're going to be using are the guitar flute, which is rhythm preset zero or vintage zero. It's a con guitar combined with a flute. And for the intro, I'm using more of an electric guitar. Mm -hmm. And you can play the whole song with that one because that one's pretty too. Mm -hmm. That one's a whole different, whole different flavor, but it works. So use basic folk. Uh huh. And, um, Vintage that? zero. Okay, and using an electric guitar. But I used an electric guitar for the intro. Oh. For the intro. What what preset is that? Do you know? Um, no, I I had to actually put one in. Um, the guitar I used was, uh, do, 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 where, where am I here? Go to my homepage. It says, come we do that the all the time, you know, where am I? Ooh, do, 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 do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I put in guitar electric strat number 131 into one of my geniuses that was going to the upper or to one of your sounds. So I just put an electric strat. Yep into an upper sound, and I did that preset with no genie, no orc plus, only bass and drums. Then go to your and it's with a duet harmony. You said no orc plus or bass. Only for the intro. I put the right. I, I right. put the uh, genie back on the basic back on when I did the the regular preset. Okay. But it gives you a whole different flavor, doesn't it? So mm -hmm. what that means for you is that you can pretty much use whatever you want. <laughs> I know Mr. Kelly here was trying to do some of these presets um, and he was just going up and down the line and pretty much any guitar that he used sounded good. So, so yeah, you can say, okay, I don't always want to use that acoustic guitar. So if you want to go to other presets, please feel free to do that. And then you'll come up with something that sounds good for you, the way you want to express it. This is an easy song. Told you this was going to be a fast lesson. <laughs> but if you learned one thing, if you learned about what your golden harp is capable of, because I was using it to just do some add, adding a guitar player to my band. Well, they are different though, aren't they? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Both of them that I, that I played. Here's the first one. Yeah. Here's the second one. Yeah. One per beat, normal, different guitar. 
One's an acoustic guitar and one's a flamenco guitar, which gives you a little more of a pop. Mm -hmm. hmm. So that's if you if that's the only thing you learned, and one's going one per beat, and one's going at a normal strumming rate. Right. Yeah. So that's that's actually pretty cool. Some you some of you may even wish to try only using your golden harp and using nothing of anything else hmm. and putting it at 120 and see see what happens nothing just the golden harp The only problem is, I got, is that doing, yeah, it still does the chords, even though I turned off the lower, I'm on easy, but I turned off all the sound for my lower chord. So you still have to change your chords. Or let's just put on chords. That was just using golden harp and that lower bass sound in my lower tab. And that was it. Mm -hmm. I was using the, uh, the birds version as yeah. the Bob Dylan, but I like the one by Bob Dylan too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dylan. Yeah. Dylan. Go ahead. Um, on your guitar, try guitar 142. It's a harmonic. Oh, there in the in the upper the sound. Ping. Yeah, in where the you, upper sound. Where you wanted okay. that ping. Or or for the ping. The ping. For yeah, the ping for the, the golden harp. Is, yeah. Okay, one forty two. I think I did try that one and I didn't care for it. But let me try it. One forty two. Whoops! I whoops! I gotta erase that. Let's clear that. Clear. I gotta go to number. There's the ping. Okay, so I'm going to go to 142 and put it in the sound. That's good. That I I don't think I did try that one. That one actually sounds good. More like a little bell. Yeah, that that's a guitar technique to make the harmonic. Yeah, you, I like you it. Can do it on any any string. I like it. I'm going to pencil Would you use that, that one in here too. Would you use that instead of the 115? Yes. No. So no. You would use instead that of the, instead of the two, four. 487. Okay. And what was that number? 151? 142. 142. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And that's for one per beat. That was for A4. I like that. That was good. Sean, I bet the balalaika would make a nice pig. You are probably correct on that as well. Yeah. So balalaika, I don't have a number for that. Um, you can scroll. If you don't have a number, you just scroll. Come on, you can go faster than this. I bet you there's a lot of things you can use. Absolutely, absolutely. But see, you're learning about golden harp and all the different sounds that you can use to create some interesting um, textures in, mm -hmm. in your music. That one like it is four nine zero. I just found it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's not as loud. It's not as loud. But it's there. Yep. Yeah. I think I like the harmonic guitar and the flamenco guitar better. But that's my opinion. But yeah, see, now you guys are thinking like arrangers. What a wonderful thing. Yeah. Yeah. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing fabulous. I do have fingering for those of you who care for it. And next week we will do, oh, the mamas and the papas, Monday, Monday. Dawn, Very did cool. you try uh, the intro using a harmonica? I could, couldn't I? Okay. Let's try it.
Oops, I've got it in the wrong spot. All right, 105, and let's put it here. Try it with duet. That works too. He said <laughs> he plays that the harmonica all the time, but yeah, he doesn't, yes. Uh, uh, Good how thought. Would with, yeah, how would it sound with a duet? Good thought. Yes, very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try it with the duet. He wants you to try it with the duet. Try it with the duet or with yeah. the. All right. That sounds like him. Actually, I like it. I like it singly for the intro, but yeah. Yeah, because you know, you can, they've only got one verse in the Easy Play book. So you can play this as many times as you want. And one of those times, absolutely, Put that harmonica in as an as another preset, and and I liked it on the duet. You guys are wow, wow! I get good ideas just from coming to class. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful thing! And that was on uh, A four. You can do that anywhere. Oh, okay. You can you can see like I said, all these presets pretty much stand on their own. Mm. Each preset can be for a different section. Now, if you want to create more presets, like this one, the harmonica with the duet, absolutely. And then use it for a solo section, because there's a trillion different verses here. So mm -hmm. yeah, play it as many times as you want. And that's going to come out real nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like that too. Good job, guys. <laughs> Good job for you. From you. <laughs> All right. For those of you who do not need fingering, thank you so much for coming. Um, I love teaching this class. You guys are awesome. I always learn something here too, as well. <laughs> and for those of you who do need fingering, get your pencils out. This is an easy song. This is just fun to play. <laughs> C5. I'm sorry, that's a G. G5. G5. F sharp four, E three, D two D two, B one B one, E four, D three, B two, G one, G one, A two, B three, D four D four D four, E five, D four, C three, B two. Third line, A1, A1, A1. Second ending, B3, E5, D4, B2. You might want to put a little arrow on the next C at the beginning of line four. Make it a four. B3, A2, G1, A2, B3, A2, G1. I G5, G5, top of the second page, G5, 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 F sharp 4, E3, D2, B1, B1, E4, D3, B2, G1. Second line, B2, E5, D4, B2, G1, G1, A2, B3, D4, 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 E5, D4, C3, B2, beginning of the third line, A1, A1, A1. High G5, 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 F sharp 4, E3, D2, D2, B1, B1, D3, D3, B2, G1, A2, B3, 
e5, d4, b2, g1, g1, a2, b3, e5, d4, d4, e5, d4, c3, b2, a1, a1. Questions? No. Nope. No nope. easy song. Sometimes it's nice to just have something easy. Yeah. It's yeah. a fun one. It's a fun one to play. <laughs> well, you guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. And I will see you all again next week. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> enjoy enjoy the Thank fall you,